Change is something constant in our world, and I know we've all been through a lot of it recently. Um, my name is Mary Kay Hunt, founder of Coach and K Companies, and I've been on the phone for the last 40 minutes or so with one of my clients who I've been working with off and on for uh, a couple of years, and Gary had some uh, words of wisdom. So I'd like to introduce Gary Everhart of Thrivent Financial. So Gary, share a snapshot of what you've been experiencing in your business over the last few weeks. Thank you, Mary Kay. Carrie and I went on vacation to Curacao right when all this craziness hit, and we came back to a brave new virtual world in which we were forced to um, discontinue face-to-face -face meetings. Corporate mm -hmm. literally came out and said, don't meet with people face-to-face -face anymore. So our face-to-face -face looks like what this looks like here now. Uh, was dragged kicking and screaming into the new Zoom world. Um, <laughs> but it, it's where we are and it's what we need to uh, be thinking about in the future. Uh, and I read a, a story was shared with us from corporate as well, that um, uh, even after all of this ends, all this madness ends that uh, so many folks are going to get used to these types of meetings and, sure. uh, these meetings and, and especially the younger generation, they're going to want to continue it. Um, I have clients out there that are in their seventies that don't know what an iPad is, but their kids are, getting them one uh, and they are learning to do this. And so it's, it's been a struggle. It's been, um, there've been a lot of hurdles for us to, to jump over. And for me, I, I can use technology, but I'm not extremely, I wouldn't call myself technology savvy, mm -hmm. but to actually go through some trainings to, to get used to it. Uh, and then for me to be able to still meet with you because, you know, we have to meet together. You're my business coach. <laughs> Uh, to be able to talk about, um, you know, accountability issues, um, uh, just communication with our team, mm -hmm. uh, things that we struggle with day to day is just, it's, it's really important for us to be able to con continue to do that. Sure. And I think that uh, moving forward, we want to make sure that uh, we are. <laughs> it's my sound in the background. <laughs> uh, that we are, um, you know, being uh, held to account. Sure. For what's important. And we can't, we can't have a handshake with our clients anymore. And it's tough. And some of our clients like to hug us too, but right. we can give a virtual hug this way. We can still have meetings. And I just think it's, it's so important for us to not only be able to recognize uh, that we need this type of technology now that we need to do this, but also how we look. How, how sure. do I look? You look great, Gary. I did shave for you, but um <laughs> So if you had, Gary, if you had some encouragement to give other business owners right now uh, to help them navigate this season, what would some encouragement be? I think it's so important to keep a positive outlook, um, to still have a routine, um, think about what your work day looks like, and then always, always um, fit in time for uh, a business coach. You, you oh. really do need to fit in time for a business coach. So. Um, my business coach is Mary Kay. She told me not to tell you that. Oh, Gary. So, okay. Our final close. What, what do you think has been the biggest value to you working with a business coach? Oh, I'd say for me personally, it's accountability. Okay. Uh, just for me making sure that I have goals, that I write my goals down and that we talk about, um, activity. What am I doing okay. on a, uh, a daily basis, a weekly basis uh, to, to reach my goals? Mm -hmm. And, and um, in the end as well, um, a little bit of marriage counseling has come out of it. Um, and don't, don't tell my wife, Carrie, that, but um, it, it's good for, for me to be able to also reflect on, hey, are, are there areas in my personal life as well? Because guys, yeah. our personal life and our business life are intertwined now. Am I right? Yeah, I'm the headmaster of Ella, Everhart Elementary. <laughs> and my wife is a first grade and a fourth grade teacher. And she is. Oh, and now we're on spring break. It's even better. <laughs> gotcha. So we well, Gary, thank you. Spot. Thank you so much for sharing your insight. And it's been a blessing to work with you. And I look forward to seeing what we can accomplish in 2020. Remember that change is constant, but change can be inspiring as well. Make every day count. Thanks, Coach. Okay, I have no idea how to stop the recording. <laughs>
<laughs> One of those great minutes. Oh, here we go. Pause. Stop.